Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International, Neil Artisan Educator here. And at first I wish to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And today I have prepared another Christmassy wintery design for you. You can have a wee preview in here. Yeah, so this is nothing over the top and I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. Let me know down in the comments below what else you would like to see it. Let's start. I've got my tips in here and I'm actually super excited for this design and I hope guys you are going to enjoy it watching it as well. We are going to paint Cool Santa. So I've got some lipstick color, color 162. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of it on the side. And then just for a quickness we are going to... No, this is going to be too pinky. I've got actually a color which is called Cashmere Rose. Yeah, this one is going to be better. And now we can start painting our Santa. So I will be using a slightly bigger brush. That's a perfect one. So I've got my gel brush and just for a quickness, I'm, I'm going to use it this brush. So this is going to be a hat. All you really want to do it is kind of make it a um, rounded a shape. It don't need to be perfect uh, because we are going to apply some fur in there as well. Okay, so we are starting painting it uh, with this look and then on, on the other parts we are going to apply some skin tone, leaving some space for the eyes. And the easiest way to paint it is make it a bigger and then you can correct the shape and make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so this is our space for the eyes. Color it in. Again, the joint place don't have to be perfect perfectly, uh, painted perfectly because we are going to add this fur in there. And then a huge nose. So place the snows right in the middle of the eyes. And then using that black, we are going to paint a mouth. So I've got the blob of the product on my brush, shake it a little bit and then make it thin. Touch up. Okay, 
and touch up. Okay, now we can cure our Santa. And in the meantime, we are going to decorate also those two tips as well, just so Santa doesn't feel, feel lonely. So buffing those tips, making sure they've got scratches in there. And remove the dust. You don't want any dust on the tips before you apply the gel polish. I've got a new lamp and it's so strong that I need to put it on the side so it doesn't cure my design while I'm working on it. And now I'm just applying this color on the entire tip. Okay, pop it in and do exactly the same on the other one. Very Christmassy design. Okay, our Santa is cooked and ready for a next step. So our next step is to give him some nice eyes. And you can use the dotting tool for it. It's the easiest way to do it. One, and the second one. Also, I'm going to touch up this hat and I will be just using straight away from the bottom, uh, from the bottle, the brush will be nicer and neater. Give it a cure and apply a second layer of our color on the tips. This is actually really Christmassy color. Now, just in case, actually, I check the number because I'm so bad later on, like when you guys ask me what I have used. So it's 162 lipstick. And then cashmere rose 26871. Cook it inside. And we can move on into the next part of the Santa. I want to give him a little bit of life and shadow. So what we are going to do is take a top coat and for shadowing I like to use the soak of top gel. So I wouldn't use the high shine no wipe top gel. So this one is great for chromes and this has no inhibition layer. This one has inhibition layer. So the one with the inhibition layer I prefer it, it uh, for the uh, shadowing. Okay. And I need a drop of some darker brown, so I will be using Sweet Mila D60571. You could also add a drop of the black to our previous color, but I think this one is pretty nice. Okay, so mix it with the top coat and the previous color we have used. So we really want to just darken up this color. And now add the shadow to the Santa nose. Drop in the top coat. And then the same color for the eyes. Okay, so just go around the eyes. Very 
very little product like I'm almost using the product which I got already on my tip to go close to the nose like you don't want too much product in there so brush the product which you've got already on your design and then I'm going to put a drop of the black just to give it a little bit darker on the bottom of the nose because it's so big that there is a huge shadow going under okay and then cook it These red tips are ready as well and I can top coat them. So this time I'm using the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel. And the reason for it is I don't want the next part of the design to cook it over it. And you know what guys, I'm amazed. I am really amazed. Look at my brush. So I have cured red gel polish. And sometimes the gel polishes, especially the red colors, can leave some um, pigment over our top coat. And with this lamp I have used it, it didn't leave me like much of it. Like, I mean, yes, I can still kind of see a little bit of the pinkish color over there, but it's almost nothing compared to the previous lamp I was using. Like I had much more left over from the red colors. They're so highly pigmented that they leave sometimes the pigment on the brush as well if they not cure properly. Let's go back to our Santa. We want to make him really perfect. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of this uh, gel polished mix with the top coat. And just apply it more evenly. Especially here around the eye. Okay, do those little touch-ups and now when I'm 100% happy I am, I am, I am, maybe not. Let's put more definition of the snows. And on the eyes make it a bit longer as well. And then drop of this red going into the skin tone. So the drop, the smallest drop mixed with the top coat. Lots of top coat and we are going to give him a little reddish cheeks. Not too much. Just a little bit. and then cook it then paint on French gel and we can start painting some other designs so on the Santa I'm going to give it a couple of the waves like Top coat, drop of the top coat, thin out my paint on French gel and we are going to put a little highlight in there. And also we want to have some sparkle in the eye. Okay, so two tiny dots and an eye, cook it. And now is the time for sugaring. So I have applied the top coat and this is a no wipe top gel. So you always need to remember to use the no wipe top gel. And we are going to paint some snowflakes. So actually the dotting tool will be a better solution. So I'm just placing a wee dot in here. 
and then from these dots I'm going to do a couple of the lines so Okay, so we have painted lines and then doing a dots. Dots at the end of the snowflake. And here we are going to paint some rhombus shape, like a diamond shape. So in between each of the arm of the snowflake, we are painting rhombus shape. I love the snowflakes because you can kind of do whatever your imagination kind of takes you there. Like, and you can you can create any kind of shape and. And my favorite ones is lines, dots, and uh, diamond shape. And swirls, but uh, not for a snowflakes. Of course, the longer time we would spend on the snowflake, like the nicer results we would get. And the tip I can give you again, very little product on your uh, tip of the brush. If you want to be very precise, like with your painting. Okay, and now we are going to add One line, second line, one line, second line. So if you can paint those basics kind of lines and shapes, you can create a pretty nice snowflakes. And I'm repeating exactly the same movement on the top of the triangle, the, the wrong diamond shape. Okay, so we have painted some snowflake and the snowflakes don't like to be single. So I'm just creating a quick one in there. And another one. I can hear my dog snoring. <laughs> He fell asleep actually when we recorded the tutorial. Okay, so I've got a couple of the snowflakes. And now is the time to sprinkle them. I'm going to actually use this glitter. I really like this glitter. And it's a Barry M. I actually show you the lid as well. Tap it in. Let's top coat our Santa. Yes, I remember I'm going to show you the glitter. <laughs> so the background for our Santa is finished. And now I can top coat it.
what I'm doing now is I'm removing the glitter which I have applied on his face. Go away, go away. Ah. And I have no choice than just clean him. So I had tiny bit of glitter on my finger and I have transferred it into my Santa. If it does happen to you, just wipe it off and apply the top coat again. This glitter would look really ugly on the pictures. It will look like a dot and it will look almost like a dot of the dirt. So I'm just cooking my Santa so we can finish his um, uh, hat and a furry bit and a beard. And I'm using the Glitter Rush Body Glitter from Barry M. And it's a called Snow Globe 8110. Uh, uh, 8 and uh, I'm sure you could get it online. Like uh, I got it at actually maybe even two years ago. So that's a long, long time ago. And now we are going to paint another type of the snowflake. So line. Line. So it's almost like a wee cross. The more symmetric you paint your uh, snowflakes, the nicer they are going to be. But to be honest, like I don't paint. And now we need to join this in. So line, line. So we are creating a diamond shape inside now. Uh, but to be honest, like I don't do lots of the freehand of the snowflakes in a salon. It's so time consuming. I mean, basically you can see it like it takes us almost the same time to paint the snowflake what it did to paint the Santa. <laughs> And the best slate, and actually I need to show you guys because I think I'm going to use them quite a lot in some wintery tutorials like in January, February time. Because uh, once the Christmas um, time is over, we, I tend to do lots of blue neos with snowflakes or any even other colors but where we can put those knitted looks and snowflake looks. I mean, of course, you cannot get the sugar effect. So the only time I would paint the snowflakes is when I'm using the sugar effect because I think it looks awesome, like it gives those wintry feel to it. So I'm just really repeating the same movement all the time. And the worst, worst part of it is like maybe the first two lines we tend to paint it slower and the then if we are on the fifth one, we tend to rush it and that's when the things can go really wrong because they are not going to be as symmetrical. And with the snowflakes, you wanted it to be as symmetrical as possible. That's why it's so hard to paint them. Okay, so we've got another snowflake. And again, I don't like the things alone. But even doing something like this, um, when I have no time, I would just do those couple of the wee stars and then take a dotting tool. Actually, let's add some dotting tool to the snowflake as well. So you can do like a dotting tool and I show you one more tip. Okay, and then one, what you could do is just kind of um, smudge
smudge those dotting tool as well. So it looks like almost a snowflake, which is falling from the sky too. And then sprinkle it. Okay, I need to move on into the Santa because I'm really excited to see his finished face. Let's sprinkle this one. And then give it a cure. I really wanted to clean it his face from the from the glitter and if something like this would happen to me in a salon of course I would do it as well and clean it like I wouldn't send my client with the glittery face on the Santa. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is I'm just taking the paint on French gel and painting his hat like a fur on his hat. So a pretty thick one like you don't want it to be thin cheap hat <laughs> it's going to have a luxury hat <laughs> and then lots of wee lines so i have no extra product i'm just really smudging the product which is already applied on this uh, white line Okay, and this way we can create a really nice furry hat. Very gentle presses of the brush. Okay, again, pick up the paint on French gel. And we want to apply some 3D effect on his beard as well. So pretty decent presses of the brush. but leave some empty spaces as well. So this way you will create more 3D look. Okay, and then once you're happy with it, sprinkle it with the glitter as well. And now I'm going like, I'm not going to use the sparkly one. I'm going to use the snow effect from the indigo because this one doesn't have the color through it. And I really don't want the color on his beard. Tap, tap, cook it in. And it's actually time to show you the, the final look of the designs which we have created. And I hope you have guys really enjoyed these tutorials as well. And for those who are watching it first time, I kind of keep repeating it all the time. The paint on French gel is safe to stay on on top and it's not going to come off even when we use all sorts of different, um, different things on our nails as well. Now I'm just going to give him a little bit of those 3D look. So I'm going to clean his nose a little bit and apply a drop of the base gel. Where are you, base gel? Apply the drop of the base gel on his nose. Just so it's nice and 3D look.
and then cook it inside. The snowflakes are ready. No, that's a second. This one, there we are. So I'm just taking the brush and removing the excess of the glitter. And because we have used the high shine no wipe top gel, which has no inhibition layer, the glitter only sticked into the paint on French gel and it didn't stick into the other part of the nail. And it is safe. We don't have to top coat it at all. Okay, so we've got one snowflake. This one is going on this side. Do you want to know the reason? For it I tell you guys so this one is cooked and this one is going more to this side and when I'm taking the thumb, thumbnail pictures like a human eye is always going more to the left side so on the left side you will I want the nicer design on the left side I, I prefer oh gosh <laughs> I prefer the nicer design on the left hand side because our eyes going kind of more into this way and then also this part of the design is more to the middle, so it's nicer. And then this one goes to the right. And of course, Santa is going to go to the top. So now I'm going to use the UV cleanser to remove the inhibition layer from his nose because the base has the inhibition layer. Okay. And then remove the excess of the glitter from his hat. And we have created those kind of cute, actually, Santa. I love him and I show you the final results. I really like the idea of lifting up the tips a little bit on those um, um, palette because uh, you can see it at the different angles and I can show you that this is a 3D look to it and his snow sticks out pretty nice and also I can um, take it away from the light reflection as well. So. You can see it, all those different effects. But glittery hacks, and bye for now.